Would you please tell us your name? Um, I'm Charlotte Sant Erdley. Okay. And when did you attend Susquehanna? From 1952 to 1956. Okay. And what did you bring to the harvest today? Um, this little pin here, mm -hmm. a Crusader pin, which was it's falling off right now, um, was a party gift from Phi Mu Delta Party, probably in 1954 or so. Did you receive it from? Uh, well, each each of the men had a gift to give to their date, and I guess that's what they were giving that year. It's put in the safe for many years, and I just discovered it lately. <laughs> uh, I thought it was kind of cool, especially with all the Crusader news going on these days. Yeah. So did you wear it back then? I did, sure. Um, and the fraternity pin, which is there. Mm -hmm. And we've now been married just about 60 years. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. 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 This is my 60th reunion. And I did see two other people from my class so far. That's exciting. <laughs> and there might be another one or two coming. Uh, so how did you hear about the history harvest today? What did I hear? How, 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 how did, did you, you learn oh, about this? I, um, you know, the brochures that they send to our homes. That's, you know, I read all of that. And decided that that was something maybe nobody else would bring. No, I don't yeah. think <laughs> It's the first time seeing it. It's really cool. Yeah. It's very well done for a tiny little pin, which is... Um, Probably not an inch tall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking in the archives, I work in the archives, and I've seen dance cards from back then. Uh -huh. Do you have any of those, or have you seen those in, during your time here? Oh, sure. They used yeah. to be so intricate and pretty. Yeah. Uh -huh. and now, I don't know. Maybe dance it's cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's back from the 20s when you didn't go to a dance. I didn't live in the 20s. I'm talking about my father and mother did not go to a dance and ask a woman to dance unless there was a dance card filled out ahead of time mm -hmm. so that you were just dancing with an appropriate person. Yeah. <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your time at Susquehanna? Well, um, my husband and I met at Boger Hall my freshman year. Um, there was a night class, uh, art class being taught by Bruce Mitchell, who's a, a well-known artist in the area. Uh, and I was hired to be um, a model, just, you know, from here up. Um, and Ken was in, in the class. I just knew there were a lot of people. Mrs. Smith, the president's wife, was in that class, but there was somebody over to my right that was getting a lot of attention from Mr. Mitchell. And a couple weeks later, you know, it was a once a night, uh, once a week, I think, uh, night course. And um, a couple weeks later, I walked over to see uh, who, you know, how this person's artwork was coming. And my, hu my, future, my husband to be, had drawn all of the background draping beautifully, and there was a hole in the middle in the shape of my head and shoulders, and he never finished it. He never finished the painting. The president's wife gave her painting to my parents, and one of the students gave me his painting, but Ken Early never finished his. <laughs> he married me instead. <laughs> Were you involved in any like activities, clubs, or sororities while you're mm -hmm. attending Susquehanna? Yeah, I'm, sports mostly. Um, sports were uh, women's sports were not well known at that time, um, and so it was very easy t to get on a team. I was on the basketball team, the hockey team, tennis team, and I was a cheerleader. That's what this is here. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, it's a little, uh -huh. like, little I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. 
what I'm saying, right? A what? A uh, megaphone. megaphone. Yeah. And I had forgotten about this too. I have no idea how I got it, other than because I was a cheerleader here. Um, so, just memorabilia that I found in the safe deposit box recently. Yeah. It's a great school uh, to come to, and uh, great professors back then. Very small. I don't think we had 500 students. And you know what it cost? I think it was for the whole year, the tuition. You want to guess? <laughs> One guy told me. 52? Yeah. Uh, one guy told me, he, I, think, um, I think he graduated in the same year as you, Walter. Albert? Yeah. Uh huh. I interviewed him. He said the room in both, he said the dorm was, dorm was $1,000. Um, uh, so I, I can't I, I don't remember that as well, but the tuition was 700 Mm hmm. And I worked in the summer times in Ocean City. A waitress and was able to pay most of that. Um, mm -hmm. My parents paid the rest. But I appreciate having, you know, people who ha have no help from their parents and how what a great need there is for them to have some help from some alumni. Yeah. We try to do a bit of that. So. Okay. Hmm.